science book. It's called Discovering God's World. This is the book we'll be in on today. We're doing pages one, two, and three. Today is a really just an introduction lesson just to kind of get started in our book. So the, if you go to page one, there's a little poem on the page and um, it's called Discovering Myself. And it says, today, I think today I'll be a dog or maybe a green jumping frog. I could be a well-known doctor and later a train conductor. When I tire of that, I might be a cat, a baker, or just me. There's no end to what I can be, but no one can be just like me. Everyone in the world is different. When we think about our class, we are a total of 12 students. Every single one of us is different. And God made us that way. Our voice is not the same. Our eye color is not the same. Our height, our skin color, our hair color, the texture of our hair, all of that is different. And God made us just like the way we are. Last week in creation, we talked about how God made man, which means us. And so God created you, who you are. Yes, you have your mom and your dad, but your creator, the person who made you, who knew your name before you were born, is God. He is the one who chose for you to be who you are. So every single part of you, the way you look, is beautiful because God made it. The Bible says you are fearfully and wonderfully made. God made you perfect just the way that you are. God not only made you perfect, so I'm gonna to go to page two, God also made you special. What special means is that you are unique, you're different, you're important to God, and everything about you, he, he took his time and he said, I'm gonna give her this, I'm gonna give him that. And so God made you special. He knew exactly what he wanted to put on the inside of you, how he wanted you to look. God did that and he made you special. You are special to God. He loves you and he looks at you and he says, I am so pleased with my creation. So God made you special. Another good thing is that no one is like you. Though you may have brothers and sisters, you have your mom, your dad, your grandparents, you are not like them. Everyone is different. Every, you may have some things like your parents, but the thing is there is nobody that is you. There is no one that is like you. God made you unique. He made you special just the way you are. So if you talk a certain way, God did that for a reason and no one will do that same thing. God made you like no one else. There's millions of people in this world, a whole bunch, and there's nobody like you, none. You think about it, none. There's nobody that can say, I am just like you. Like I said, you may have things similar, like you may have something alike, like someone, but there is no one that is 100% just like you. Y'all are like the exact same, not even twins. And twins were in their mom's stomach together, and when they're born, they are not even the same. They are totally different. And the last thing is God is interested in you. What that means is God cares about what goes on in your life. In the Bible, it says that God knows when you sit down. He knows when you stand. God is interested in every part of your life. He wants to know every single thing that you're doing. He can see everything that you're doing and he is concerned about it. God also gives his angels charge over you. And so he cares so much that he makes his angels watch over you so that you wouldn't even hurt yourself. Now, sometimes we may hurt ourselves a little bit, but that doesn't mean that God didn't protect us because it could have been worse. And so God, his angels are there to protect you and to watch over you because God is interested. He cares about every single part of your life. So this is amazing. We have a creator. We were made special. There is nobody like us. And God cares about every single part of our lives. That's our science lesson today. The fact that God created you, he made you special. He made you like no one else. You can read the pages because there's more, of course, in the book that you can read about. So that's pages one through three in your science today.